Hi, I'm Blondie Bites, and today I'm going to show you how to use the list and make directory commands. To get started, we are going to open the terminal, and I'm just going to do this through Spotlight. And for a bit of review, we can navigate our folders in Finder by doing the command CD, which stands for change directory, and then we can put whatever directory we want to go into. So for now, we'll just say Dropbox. And then we can actually list the contents of the directory with ls, and then we can go back with the dot dot, and then we can do command k to clear it all up. This time we'll be going in deeper to the list command. The list command basically has a bunch of different options, like yeah, you can just do list, but you can actually have options that show the hidden files of that directory. And so if we do ls-a, it will show us all of the hidden files, and a hidden file is something that starts with a dot in the beginning. And if you regularly go into the finder and go to your home directory, they won't be shown. Like the .ds store, which kind of saves the configuration of your finder window. Like if I drag this all the way over here, it'll save that. That's not a file that you personally are going to be changing. It's like automatically updated whenever you drag things and so obviously Apple's not going to show it to you because they don't think you're ever going to mess with it. And so that's why it's a hidden file. Another option for the list command is we can do ls-l. And this will show our directories in a more formal manner. It'll have like the last time they were updated, the name, a couple other important things. And we can actually combine this option with the above option with the dash a by doing ls-la. And that will show us all the hidden files as well as the revealed files, if you will, and when they were last modified and all of that stuff. Now we can clear this all up by going Command K. We can list everything again. But say I want to list something in a directory, but I'm not necessarily in that directory. So say I want to do LS. Say I want to list the stuff that's in, I don't know, music. I don't have much. <laughs> So that command right there just listed everything that's in my music directory. Now notice I can do ls-la music and it'll show me my hidden files and put them in a list format for me. And so breaking this down a bit, this ls is the command, if you will, and the dash la is an option of the command. So the command ls is the main chunk of information and dash la just says okay I want this format but I still want you to list things and music is something you call the argument and the argument is what this operation ls is performed on but let's say you forgot this option you forgot you can do the dash la or you forgot the way to see the hidden files within your finder you can go to the internet and look it up and usually when you look it up it'll have the command like this it'll start with a dollar sign and be ls dash a and then like the name of directory. And so ls would be the command, dash a would be the option, name of the directory would be the argument. Often online when you're looking up things about commands and people are showing examples, they'll note a command by this dollar sign. And so if you ever see this, then you know, okay, ls is where I start the command. If you see this thing online, what it really means is to take away the dollar sign and just write out this statement. If you write the dollar sign at the beginning of your command, it won't recognize what's going on. It won't understand. It's just kind of a terminology for showing commands online. Now let's say we want to make another folder. We can go into our desktop by going CD desktop. There's nothing here and so we can make a new folder. How do we do that? Well, of course you can go to Finder find this, click here, it'll take forever because you have to look for the actual folder rather than just typing it in. And so you can of course do the new folder here, but we don't want to do that. That takes time. And so we can actually do this command called mkdir, which is make directory, and then say the name of the directory we want. Tutorial. Hit enter. And now it shows up here. And we do ls, and there it is. Now we can go into this directory by doing cd tutorial, and now we are inside tutorial, and there's nothing in it because we didn't make anything inside of it. Now we're kind of far away from the home, and so instead of doing cd dot dot twice, we can actually do cd tilde. 
And because the tilde is another way of saying the home directory, we can just hit enter and we're back in our home directory. As you can see, all our folders are here and everything. So I hope you like this video. Leave comments below, questions, concerns, as always. Bye-bye.